Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video day, and today the Houston Rockets beat the Sacramento Kings 107-89 to and get their second straight win. The Houston Rockets beat the Sacramento Kings 107-89. to I know it's early on in the season, but they jump up all the way to 11th in the Western Conference and jump the Sacramento Kings, but who cares? It's not even two weeks into the season yet. Just wanted to note that if anybody does care about that. Dylan Brooks adds on another tw- uh, well season high for him now, 26 points, another 20-point game for Dylan Brooks with nine rebounds, shooting nine for 14 and two for four from three, which is 50% on the season. Brooks is shooting a uh, total of 60, near 63%. A really good game from Jabari Smith Jr. Man, I love seeing seeing him being as aggressive as he was tonight. A double double for him with twenty one and eleven, and also twenty one points for Fred VanVleet. He did score twenty one, twelve uh, had twelve assists, a double double for him as well, and had six rebounds. But a terrible shooting night for VanVleet. Seven for twenty two, four for fourteen from three, but. You know, Van Vliet can have a terrible shooting light, shooting night like he did at 7 for 22 and still get you 20-plus points. And Jalen Green, who has been dominant against the Sacramento Kings, and Jalen in the Rockets' last six matchups against the Sacramento Kings, Jalen Green has scored 25-plus points in all those matchups, but not tonight. 36 minutes, 4 for 10, 0 for 2 from 3, 10 points, 5 assists, 2 rebounds. And I'll print Sengun. I said in my preview today that Singoon would get another game where it was kind of close to a triple-double and didn't even have a double-double, but was still close. 15 points, 9 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals for Alp, 7 for 13, 1 for 3, 3 from 3. And then off the bench for the Houston Rockets. You know, bench points were not that active for the Rockets tonight. Jay Sean Tate looked great off the bench. Anybody hating on, hating on his three-point shot tonight? Jay Sean looked great from the outside. 11 and 4 for Jay Sean, shooting 4 for 6 and 3 for 3 from 3. Besides that, there was only other three other bench points for the Houston Rockets. Jermaine Samuels with two points and Jeff Green with one point off of a free throw. He had five rebounds. I mean... Uh, Cam Whitmore, Nate Hinton, and Jermaine Samuels had one minute at the end of the ball game because uh, this was a blowout game at the end. Uh, and then they the only guy to score out of that group was Jermaine Samuels. And Cam Whitmore did have a, have one rebound. Uh, besides Jay Sean Tate, what he did off the bench and what Jeff Green did in only five minutes, Jack Landell had 20. Sorry, Jack Landell had 12 minutes, not 20. Uh, 0 for 1, 0 for 1 from 3, 0 points. Had three assists and three rebounds, though. Aaron Holiday, his minutes are... He's starting to get some minutes in the rotation with the men. Thompson out, 19 minutes, 0 for 4, 0 for 2 from 3. Had three three rebounds, though, for the Houston Rockets. And then uh, Reggie Bullock Jr. and Boban Marjanovic were DNPs. You know, I want to go over a couple things before I go over the Kings, over the Kings scores real quick. Number one, this was a great one for the Houston Rockets, but they have a problem. And, and it's not a great problem to have. Um, and they got lucky tonight that the Kings were as terrible as they were as they were in the third quarter. The Houston Rockets are terrible at keeping leads. They had a 15-point lead in the first half. We're playing great basketball. At, in the first quarter, they were up 33 to 19. They were up 30 to 15 at one point in the first quarter. But the Kings make a little bit of a comeback at the end of the uh, then at the end of the second, going into halftime, they outscore the Rockets by eight in the second quarter, and it's fifty-three to fifty-nine. The Rockets are only up six at halftime. The Rockets get off to a great start um, to start the second half, sixty-four to fifty-five. So they're playing good basketball, outscoring the Kings to start the third quarter, uh, five to two, and they're up by nine points. But then the Kings go on a huge run. And they take the lead, sixty-five to sixty-four. It would be the Houston. It would be sorry. It'd be the Sacramento Kings' first lead of the night. But thank God, both teams went on a huge stretch of not being able to score the basketball, and it, and it was very. It was so bad enough that what didn't surprise me if it ended up on Shaq in the Fool next week. But only twenty-seven points from both teams in the third quarter. The Rockets got lucky the Kings didn't get hot and they were playing just as bad as them, but the Rockets blew another double-digit lead again. They blew a a double-digit lead against the Charlotte Hornets the other night. They were up, I think, they were up like near 20 points and Charlotte came back and um, I think they brought it back to three or two at one uh, one point. Then the Houston Rockets pulled away in the fourth quarter against Charlotte the other night. And they were up 106 to 92. They're up 14 at the in the final minutes of the fourth quarter. 
then at the end, I think there might have been four or five minutes left on the clock when they're at 106 to 92. Then, next thing you know, the Rockets are only winning 115 to 110. And then, obviously, San Antonio, the game they lost, the Rockets were up, I think, 10 points in the fourth quarter. So, uh, that's just the only, the Rockets are playing great basketball. The only thing that's really nervousing me is the way that this team cannot hold leads. And thank God, Sacramento was just as bad as Houston Rockets were in the third quarter, and they didn't really remain, they were a little bit better in the fourth quarter, but the Houston Rockets had a tremendous fourth quarter, scoring 36 points in the fourth quarter, while Sacramento only had 21. So, I think the Rockets got very lucky that Sacramento had a terrible third quarter, just like they did, and because of that, the Houston Rockets were able to win this ball game. Also, I want to say, uh, if any Kings fans are watching, I don't want to hear any excuses about how y'all did not have Darian Fox. Because even without Darian Fox, the Kings, with their current roster, I mean, you got Kevin Herter, Keegan Murray, Harrison Barnes, DeMontis Sabonis, Malik Monk. Even with their current roster, they're still... They're, you can, I mean, I don't... I, I think they still even up. Uh, they, I think they still match up very well against the Houston Rockets with their current roster without Darian Fox. And not to mention the Houston Rockets are... St- or without their best, their you can say, um, I would say Jay Sean Tate and Tari Eason are our two best bench players. Um, but they are without Amen Thompson, who provides a really good spark off the bench for the Rockets, the best guard off the bench. I think we all can agree there. And the best player off the bench, no doubt, Tari Eason. So the Rockets, the Kings might have been out with, you know, they might have not had Darian Fox, but, um, we didn't have Tari Eason. We didn't have Amen Thompson. I'm not saying those two guys e- even up with Darian Fox, but with them being a better team than us, I still think this is a really good win for the Rockets to get their second win in a row against the Kings and the Hornets. Now the Rockets will have to have the chance to beat the Kings two times in a row at Toyota Center on Monday. Let's go over the Kings scoring real quick. Uh, their leader in scoring was Malik Monk off the bench with 18. Sabonis had 11 and 15 and 4 with two blocks, 13 for Harrison Barnes. Keegan Murray, terrible shooting night, 3 for 12, 7 points, 1 for 8 from 3. I mean, yeah, I think that's what that's another thing that really hurt them is, you know, their shooting night, 11 for 41 from 3, 26%. Uh, they have good three point shooters like Harrison Barnes, um, who did have a good night from out the outside, 3 for 3 for 4. Keegan Murray's a good three point shooter. Davion Mitchell's a solid three point shooter. Kevin Herter's a good three point shooter. Uh, so they have good three-point shooters. Just some of the three-point shooters they have that are really good struggle tonight, like uh, Herter and Murray. And those two guys combined for one for 11 from the outside. So um, and then 18 for Malik Monk, 10 for Chris Duarte, 12 for JaVale McGee with six rebounds. And the Rockets get the win, 107-89. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoy them, your thoughts, and peace out. Go Rockets.